Okay, so we'll go ahead and do circulation down through the legs. We'll start with arteries and then do veins. Looking at this, we said, we already know that these were the common iliacs, that you have an external iliac and an internal iliac. This external iliac punctures the abdominal wall and enters the leg. Once we go into the leg, this vessel right here, it wraps around the femur. This is the femoral artery. So you see it right here. You also see it, it's been cut right here, but it starts here and then it comes and you, it goes back behind the femur. So this and this are showing you the femoral artery. So right and left, or sorry, left and right. Um, if you can see the leg, this leg, it's positioned like the leg is turned sideways like that. So as you go down, you're ending up behind the knee, okay? So when you look at this, this is the femoral artery, and then this is now behind the knee. Remember behind the knee, we call popliteal. So this is the popliteal artery. Right here, the popliteal artery splits, and it goes behind the tibia, and then this one right here curves around and ends up going in front of the tibia. Back behind the tibia, this is called the posterior tibial artery. This one that actually ends up in front of the tibia, which you can see it more clearly over here in the front portion of the tibia, that's the anterior tibial artery. So we had femoral artery, popliteal artery, posterior tibial artery, anterior tibial artery. At the ankle, the anterior tibial artery, so like right here at the top of the ankle, becomes something called the dorsalis pedis, which pedal is foot, dorsal is like the backside. So the dorsalis pedis is the one leading down towards the backside of the foot. And then on the top of the foot, we've got the dorsal arches or arcuate. So anterior tibial artery, dorsalis pedis, arcuate. It's actually an arc right on the top of the foot. We also have um, arcs on the bottom of the foot down here. We call them plantar arches, which remember the bottom of your foot's referred to as plantar, like you plant your foot. So those are the plantar arches down there. We can also see these vessels on this leg model. Um, and this is a really good one for the arteries. So just to get your bearings, so look at this. This is the left leg, right? It goes like this. And if you look at it like this, this is the leg, but this is actually up in the pelvis, right? It sits like this. There's the, the, the gluteal area or the butt. This is in your pelvis. So when you look at these vessels, these are actually up in the pelvic area. So looking at the arteries, this initial artery right here is the common iliac artery. This is the left leg, so the left common iliac artery and it splits. The external iliac artery comes out. The internal iliac artery goes in. So like this green piece of tape, this is referring to the left common iliac artery. So this external iliac artery, I said, goes and it punctures the body wall. And then in the leg, it's gonna become the femoral artery. So if I turn this a little, you guys can see this red vessel Right here, right, the external iliac punctures the wall, goes into the leg and becomes the femoral. So this is the femoral artery. It wraps around the femur. And then if I flip this, you can see where it comes out of the back, right? So the femoral artery comes back out the back of the leg, like right here. And then it goes along the back of the knee. So this red vessel that you see right here at the back of the knee, where the yellow pointer is pointing, is showing you the popliteal artery. So the left popliteal artery. That popliteal artery is going to split and we're gonna have one that goes back behind the tibia, which you see right here. So this red vessel going down the back of the leg is gonna show you the posterior tibial artery. And then if I turn this around to the front, y'all can see another vessel going down the front of the leg, right? That's the anterior tibial artery. That anterior tibial artery becomes the dorsalis pedis at the ankle, but we kind of start to get covered up by um, 
by tendons and muscles, so you can't really see that well on this. Now we also have veins that go down the legs. We'll start with this model and just look kind of generally. This large vessel that's going down, it starts at the heart, then it comes all the way down the abdomen. That's the inferior vena cava. Remember the superior vena cava? The inferior vena cava. Um, just like the iliac arteries, we've got veins. So the inferior vena cava splits and we've got the common iliac veins. So the right common iliac and left common iliac veins. Those are the blue ones. The common iliac veins split and these blue ones are showing you the external iliac vein and the internal iliac vein. So this external iliac vein comes down and it punctures the body wall, right? Or the abdominal wall goes into the leg. And then we see that we've got two key veins that you guys have to memorize here. The femoral vein and the great saphenous vein. You do have a popliteal vein and an anterior tibial, like you've got the veins that follow the arteries, but you guys don't have to know them in this manual um, and they're not shown well in these models. But what you do see is, so the exterior iliac crosses through the abdominal wall into the leg. And starting right here, then it's kind of cut a little bit and then you see it extend right down here. So like, I'm trying to balance this. So you go through the abdominal wall and it's kind of cut, right? And then it goes down and continues. That's the femoral vein. This one that goes over here to the, the medial side of the leg really superficially, that's the great saphenous vein. So let me show you the whole thing. Okay. So the external iliac comes. This is where the femoral starts. It continues like this and then the femoral goes back behind the leg. That's the femoral vein. This one over here that comes all the way down the entire leg, this is the great saphenous vein. Um, that's a really superficial, really large vein. Because it's so superficial, you don't have the muscular compression in one-way valves to push the blood back up. So blood tends to pool in that great saphenous vein a lot. And that's one, way, one where you will get uh, like the big swollen varicose veins frequently because the blood does tend to pool in there. Um, if we look at this model here, remember we said that this was the common iliac, external iliac, and internal iliac for the arteries, right? Well, if you look, the vein starts right here. So you don't see all of those veins. That vein that you see up in the pelvis is the external iliac vein. So it's got that orange tape on it. That's the external iliac vein. That punctures the abdominal wall and enters the leg. And on this model, you do not see the great saphenous. It's too superficial. This model, you see the deep um, veins. So this right here is showing you the femoral vein. Goes right by the femoral artery. Here's the femoral vein wraps around the femur. And you can actually see it come out the back here. That's the femoral vein. And just like the arteries in the back, this blue one right here is the popliteal vein. And again, we can't see the tibial veins on here. All right, that's it for the leg. Um, we'll come back and do hepatic portal circulation and fetal circulation, and then we'll call it a day.